Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss more examples of uh, conservation of mass and energy problems. Okay, so let us solve this problem. Sabi niya, how high would the mass have to be lifted in order to expend the same amount of energy as be required to heat an equal mass of water through 1 Celsius degree. Okay, so potential, anong kat potential energy, anong katumbas niya sa heat? Okay, same amount ng mass nung nilift mo sa water. So, mgh is equals to mc delta t, water. Okay, same mass. So, meron tayong gh is equals to c delta t. Okay, dito sa side na to, since mgh, this is in joules. Okay, so, g, g which is 9.81 meter per second squared times h c is 4.187 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin so gawin natin siyang joules 1 kilojoule 1000 joule times delta t is 1 celsius degree or also equivalent to 1 kelvin so ang h natin dito would be equivalent to 426.8094 meters okay so, this is our final answer. Next, uh, 14 grams aluminum beer contains 375 ml of beer. How much ice at 0 degrees will have to melt in order to cool 24 cans from 25 degrees Celsius to 2 degrees Celsius? The specific heats of beer and aluminum are 4 and 0 0.88 kilojoule per kilogram Celsius degree or Kelvin, respectively, and the relative density of the beer is 0 0.985. So, let's first write the given the mass of the aluminum which is 14 grams the volume of the beer which is 375 ml okay uh, meron tayong 24 cans of beer uh, T1 is 25 degrees Celsius T2 is equivalent to 2 degrees Celsius C ng beer is 4 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. C ng aluminum is 0 0.88 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. And then the specific gravity is 0 0.985. Okay. Ano pong kailangan natin? If you analyze this, sinasabi niya lang, ano yung kailangan i-absorb ng ice para mag-melt siya para lumameg yung beer at saka yung aluminum can. Okay. Ayan. Diba? Ganun lang kasimple. Mag ano yung i-absorb ng ice na heat? Gaano kadami yung i-absorb ni ice na heat para makapag-melt siya or para ano tawag dito mag-release ng heat si beer at saka si can para lumameg okay so m ice okay sabi niya dito melt lang hindi niya sinabi na magbabago yung temperature ng uh, ice okay so l f okay ayan since Ito ay nag-melt, ibig sabihin nag-absorb siya ng heat. Tama? So, kung nag-absorb siya ng heat, ibig pong sabihin, um, this is positive. Okay? Absorb eh. Equals. Okay. Ang beer is lumameg. Okay? Lumameg si beer. So, ibig sabihin nag-reject. So, negative Q, beer, at saka negative Q can. Which is all in all 24 cans. I-multiply natin ng 24. Ngayon, baka malito ha. Hindi ito energy in equals to energy out. Okay? This is an equation which uh, ang gusto lang natin malaman is ano, ay, gaano kadaming heat ang i-absorb ni ice para mapalamig niya yung beer at can. Hindi siya energy in is equals to energy out. Kaya po, hindi applicable dito na kapag heat rejected dun sa right side, pag heat absorbed is dun sa left side. Okay? So, 
dito lang is um, kumbaga uh, ano yung absorb at saka yung ano yung release how much is absorb equivalent to release parang ganun lang siya okay so So, M ng ice, which is the hinahanap. Okay. Pero, wala tayong M ng beer. Wala tayong mass ng beer. So, we have to find what is the mass of beer by using rho V. Okay. Mass ng beer is equivalent to density, which is 0.985 times 1,000. Kasi relative density times the volume of 375 ml convert natin 1000 ml 1 liter 1000 liter 1 meter cube okay this is equivalent to 0 0.3694 okay so m ice okay uh, nag absorb siya so positive uh, M ice is equals to 335 ang latent heat of fusion positive kasi nag absorb siya equals okay um, negative okay M I Ilagay na natin yung 24 cans. Okay. Each can ay merong heat na uh, beer, which is beer, okay, 0 0.3694. This is M. And then, the C of beer is 4.0. And then, this is T2 minus T1, 2 minus 25. Okay. Minus. M ng can is 14 grams over 1,000 grams para maging kilogram. Okay. 1 kilogram. Uh, C is 0 0.88. Delta T is 2 minus 25. Okay. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, yung negative na nilagay natin dito is for the sake lang po na ah, Okay. Yung negative na nilagay natin dito, tagalin natin to. Is just for the sake of uh, para maging positive kasi 2 minus 25 is negative. Then negative times negative is positive. Ganun din dito, 2 minus 25 is negative, negative times negative is positive. Okay, para hindi mag-negative yung sagot natin dito. So ganun lang siya, hindi kailangan ng super analyze kung anong sign or something. Okay? Para lang maging positive yung equation. Yun lang yun. Okay? So, M ice is equivalent to 2.4550 kilogram. Okay. Ayan. So, let's proceed to the next problem. In an ice making plant, Ice at negative 5 degrees Celsius is produced from water at 20 degrees Celsius. What is the refrigeration capacity of the plant per hour if the plant can produce 6,000 kg of ice in an 8-hour shift? Okay, so ganito siya. Okay. Um, I-analyze natin kung paano nagiging ice yung tubig. Okay. Uh, from 20 degrees, syempre magiging 0 degrees siya. Okay. So, meron tayong temperature change. Water pa ito. From 0 to 0, magiging ice siya. So, MLF. Okay. From 0 to negative 5, magiging ice na siya. So, M, C, ice, delta T. Okay. So, ito yung total refrigeration capacity. Kasi yan yung ano eh. Kumbaga, ito yung product niya. Okay, ito yung naging product niya. 
um, yung ref ginawa niyang ice yung 20 degrees Celsius na water ginawa niyang negative 5 degrees Celsius na ice okay so ito talang natin siya over 8 hour shift kasi ang hinahanap is the rate okay so m ng water is 6000 kg okay c ng water is 4.187 T2 is uh, 0 minus 20. Okay. Ito na naman tayo. This is heat release or heat rejected. Okay. So, mag negative tayo dito. Heat release or heat uh, tama ba? 6,000 kg 4.1870 minus 20. Okay. Ayan. So, mag-negative tayo dito para maging positive yung uh, sagot neto. Okay? Para maging positive siya. Kasi ang kinukuha lang nat naman natin is the total. Plus, okay, uh, plus natin is LF. Okay? Plus natin si LF which is um, the mass which is 6,000 kilogram times LF which is 335 kilojoule per kilogram okay ma'am bakit po positive okay positive dapat actually ito is negative okay pag ni negative natin to hindi na natin kailangan i-positive to Okay, bakit po? Para negative, negative, tapos negative din yung magiging sagot. Okay, kasi ang kinukuha lang naman natin is the totality. Okay, ang kinukuha natin is the totality of the heat removal. Okay, so hindi tayo kailangan mag minus or mag subtract. Kaya, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is kunin natin tong amount na to regarding the sign kunin natin yung amount nito regardless of the sign kunin natin yung amount nito which is um 6000 kg CP ng ice ay 0 0.5 ng 4.187 and then delta T ulit ah negative 5 minus 0 okay so ang ma makikita yung sagot dito is negative this is negative. So, negative plus negative plus negative is negative something. Okay? So, ang ginawa lang natin is tinutal natin lahat nung nireject niya. Okay? Dito naman, ang ginawa kasi natin, tinu tinutal natin lahat nung nireject niya. Tapos, in natin doon sa inabsorb nung ice. Okay? Ginawa natin tong negative para lang maging positive yung sagot. Kasi positive yung nasa left side. Okay, so walang kinalaman yung ah, pag negative kasi is heat rejected. Kaya negative siya, no. Ang ginagawa lang natin dito is kinukuha natin yung amount regardless of the sign. Okay, eto rin, kinuha natin yung amount regardless of the sign. Okay, dahil negative ang 335 dahil nga heat rejected siya, hinayaan na natin maging negative to. Kasi pag, pinab pag ginawa natin negative of negative, magiging positive, magmaminus siya. Okay, so hindi natin nakuha yung total. Bagus, na gano'n pa tayo, nag, nag, nag subtract pa tayo. Okay, so gano'n lang yun. So, uh, divided by an 8-hour shift. Ang sagot dito is equivalent to uh, 321905 okay, kilojoule per hour. So, pwede rin siyang maging 321.905 megajoule per hour. So, eto na po yung sagot. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa next. Sabi niya, during the execution of a reversible non-flow process, the work is negative 148.1 BTU. Okay? If V1 is 30 feet cube and the pressure varies as P is equals to negative 3V plus 100 PSIA when V is 3, when V is feet cube and V2 
find V2 approximately parang malitong sagot niya na to okay so ang gagawin natin dito is what anong gagawin natin dyan ang gagawin natin dyan is alam nyo yung formula na work is equals to P dv okay so ganyan natin siya equate work is equals to p dv since ito is naka pound per inch squared pound per inch squared times feet cube okay ganyan siya so malamang i-convert muna natin tong work sa pound feet okay so negative 148.1 btu times 1 BTU is equals to 778.16 pound feet. Okay. Equals. Ang P niya is nagvavary. Okay. So, hindi siya constant. Burayin natin ito. Okay. So, ganyan siya. Okay. So, ang P niya is equivalent sa negative 3V plus 100. DV. Okay? And then, para makuha natin yung work, kailangan natin mag-integrate. So, magiging negative 3V squared over 2 plus 100V. Okay? Ayan. From uh, 30 feet cube to V2, which is unknown. Okay? Negative 148.1 times 778 is equivalent to negative 115245.496 okay so ito evaluate natin okay uh, PSI A2 feet cube ito or pound per inch squared oops feet cube so convert natin to ng inch squared, 144 inch squared is equals to 1 feet squared para maging pound feet. Okay? So, ito mag-divide tayo dito ng 1, negative 115245.496 divided by 144. Right. Okay? And then, this one is evaluate natin, negative 3 V2 squared over 2 plus 100 V2 okay minus natin siya sa negative 3 30 squared over 2 plus 100 times 30 so ang V na lalabas dyan is equivalent to equivalent to 7.6248 feet cube. Okay. Okay, ayan. 7.6248 feet cube. Yan po ang ating final answer. Okay, so let's proceed to the next. Okay. Next tayo, the flow work of 5 cubic feet of fluid passing a boundary to a system is 80,000 feet pound. Determine the pressure at this point. Okay. So, hinalap si pressure work is equals to PV, di ba? Ayan. So, meron tayong 80,000 feet pound is equals to pressure times the volume which is 5 feet cube. So, ang pressure na sagot dito ay 16,000 pound feet squared. Convert natin into PSIA 1 feet squared over 144 inches squared. So, ang pressure natin dito ay 111.11111 PSI. So, this is our final answer. Next, a reversible, a reversible non-flow process occurs from which the work 
from which the work is from which the work is 9.4 BTU okay if the pressure varies as P is equals to negative V squared plus 100 V PSIA and P1 is 46 PSIA find V2 okay so ang gagawin muna natin pound feet ulit to so 9.4 BTU times 1 BTU 778.16 pound feet equals okay um, pagkukunin natin si work, diba? Work is equals to PDV. Okay, so work is equals to uh, negative V squared plus 100 over VDV. So, integrate natin is that is negative V cube over 3 plus 100 loan V. Okay? 100 loan V. Ngayon, ang problema natin, wala tayo ni isang given ng V. Pero, meron tayong given ng pressure. So, hanapin muna natin yung uh, volume 1. Given ang 46 PSIA is equals to negative V squared plus 100 over V. So, ang V1 natin is equivalent to 2 feet cube. Okay? So, salpak na natin yung values. Uh, 9.4 times 778.16 is equivalent sa 7314.704. Okay. Ngayon, 7314.704 pound feet. Oops. Pound feet equals. Okay. Ito naman, evaluate natin siya from V1 to V2. Okay, hinahanap natin si V2. So, negative V2 cube over 3 plus 100 loan V. Okay, minus negative 2 cube over 3 plus 100 loan 2. Okay, so ang V2 na lalabas dyan ay equivalent sa 8 ay 4. Sorry. V2 na lalabas ay equivalent sa 4.01672 feet cube. Okay? Pag hinanap natin si pressure 2, that is equivalent to uh, negative V, negative 4.01672 squared, gamit tong equation na to ha, plus 100 over 4.01672. So, ang pressure natin dito is 8.7619 PSIA. So, this is our final answers. Okay? So, that is the last slide. Thank you very much for watching.